I'm live. All right, hey everybody. It's Najee, Black Heart in America. We're going to broadcast and live from the Black Heart in America studios on Facebook. And so for anybody that's following us, we want to say thank you. We recently hit the 100,000 mark a little earlier this year, 100,000 followers on Black Heart in America. And uh, for those of you who don't know, we've, uh, we're celebrating our eighth year, uh, eight years and counting uh, of sharing content, images, stories, news, uh, also contributing to the news. I mean, we got a lot of original content that we post, so you're following us on Facebook, but you really need to also check out the website. You're gonna find some great stories, some great podcasts. Okay. Why don't you ask people to comment if they can hear and see everything all right? Oh, that's great. Can y'all see and hear me, first of all? Holla at me. Let me know where you're coming from. Are you an artist, collector, art enthusiast? It's our first time broadcasting live on Facebook. Uh, we've got 100,000, over 100,000 people following us. So, you know, we would love to, you know, give you a shout out and say thank you uh, for joining. Thank you for following us. Um, also, in, and if you're enjoying Black Art in America, one of the cool things that you can do besides like is share. Share the content on your page. Invite your friends to join. Because I wear a number of different hats here at Black Art in America, not only artists, collector, founder, CEO, producer, blah, 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 this and that. Feel free to ask me a question. Chime in. You know, are you talking to the to the folks that's pushing the button? It's been pushing the buttons for eight years, uh, celebrating black culture, black visual culture. And we want to thank you for being a part of it. Uh, ask, ask, ask me a question. Whatever. Okay, thanks, Zim Zimmer. Where you hail from? You here in the states? Or is it? Are you one of our international followers following us on, on uh, from around the world? I know we got a lot of followers internationally in the UK and the continent. Uh, are you? That's what's up. Like them likes, like the likes, like the shares. It's Najee, Black Art in America, the founder and CEO of the company, right here to answer any of your questions and also to just say thank you for following Black Art in America share the uh you know share our posts i mean do you know our story visit blackartinamerica.com hello from greensboro north carolina what's up harriet how's it going you know have you seen the harriet tubman from the uh our heritage line of the garden art for the soul did you really did you even know that guard that black art in america has a number of uh satellite brands that we that we run from do you basel everything black garden art for the soul hey from kenya that's what's up nairobi kenya that's what's up, Zim Zim. Up, what's up with it? You know, it's good to it's good to hear you. You got uh, you are you letting your friends know in Kenya about Black Art in America and what we're doing, sharing some of the contents on some of the artists. You know, we may actually need you to hook us up with some of the hot artists that's in Kenya that need to be that need to get a little love over here in the states. You think you can do that? You know, you're gonna share something with us. Um, yeah. So if you're just tuning in, it's our first time again going live from the Black Art in America headquarters, Najee Dorsey Studios, broadcasting from Columbus, Georgia. Started out in Atlanta nine years ago. Uh, well, started out in Atlanta uh, nine years ago. I was in Atlanta for nine years prior to moving to Columbus. But let's see. Thanks for get, thanks for being an inspiration. But no, thank you. You know, art art is what we love. You know, black culture. You know, the diaspora. You know, it's up to. You know, I always say that there. I think there's a warfare at times against the black image and black culture. So we need our cultural warriors like yourself and like what we do at Black Art in America to get balance to. Um, the, to, to those stories and those images, you know, so anytime that you see something on bio that, that you like, please share that content. Um, you know, the artists need to love uh, the collectors, the stories of the collectors we love to share. Are you let me ask you this. I mean, you're following us on Facebook. Are you visiting the website? Are you listening to the podcast? Are you checking out the news stories that we're pushing out for sure? OK, that's what's up. Um, Tell us, you know, we'd love to know some of your favorite artists that you're following here in the States. And, you know, do you, if you get if you're following us, I mean, hopefully you guys know about the upcoming show in Philadelphia. It's going to be fantastic at the uh, Belmont Mansion. It's the Black Art in America Fine Art Show, Philadelphia, September 14th through the 16th. Visit Black Art in America and take a look at the full lineup of programming and the art that we will be showing. I mean, everybody from the legacy artists of the past, Catalyst, Jake's. Norman Lewis, uh, Romare Bearden, uh, Dr. Samilla Lewis, 
Reginald Gammon, and then a ton of really strong contemporary artists. You know, one of the things that we like to do with the Black Art in America Productions is to, uh, you know, give just position to the legacy artists and making room for the contemporary artists, but always surrounding that with great programming. So, you know, if you're interested in learning more about art, learning more about collecting, come join us in Philly. It's going to be a Black Art in America family reunion. We want you there. Uh, if you want to learn more about Black Art in America, maybe become a patron supporter. That's cool. You want to learn how you can support artists uh, through Black Art in America. Check this out. So we've got one of the, the beauties about what we're able to do based on our audience is amplify message. So let's say you got an artist that you love or you're an artist yourself. You can visit Black Art in America. Check out the Patreon tab under the educational resources on the navigation bar of Black Art in America. At our monthly contributor level of $50, you can uh, give us names of artists that you think need a little love, that need uh, that you would love to have spotlighted on Black Art in America. I don't know if you've seen, but we have a high engagement uh, with Black Art in America. It's not uncommon for us to get you know several hundred shares on content that we share. So learn more about how you can support. And see, we got a question coming in. Shelby, yes, more, more of this and or let's see more of this. It's in order. Thanks for getting the word out. All right, it's my passion. Okay, and Shelby. Tell stuff, cool. cool, Shelby. Tell me about. Tell me about. You know, your, your passion in art. Are you an artist? Are you a collector? Uh, are you? If you're a collector, are you new to collecting? Have you been collecting for a while? We just share information on pieces that you know we recently picked up. I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, the collecting habits of my wife and I, Satiria. We're celebrating. 24 years on Saturday of marriage. We've been collecting for about 20 years. We've got a, a phenomenal collection of art. And both some legacy artists were really focused on a lot of contemporary artists. We recently picked up a piece this past weekend while doing a show in Houston of Frank Frazier, a work by Ted Ellison. Prior to that, we had picked up the work of uh, Gerald Lavelle, who's a young artist that we're really excited about and excited to share his work uh, at the Philadelphia show. Uh, but again, if you're tuning in and if you got any questions, I'm Najee Dorsey. I'm the founder and CEO of Black Art in America. Uh, we're here at the Black Art in America headquarters in Columbus, Georgia. If you don't know, not only do we share this content online in terms of all the art, you know, the reason why you like Black Art in America to begin with, we got several affiliate pages uh, where we push out content as well. So check out Doogie Basel, check out Everything Black, check out Garden Art for the Soul. Check out, check out shop by you. I would love to talk to anybody. How we do that? I'm gonna in the comments put a link for them. Okay, cool. So there's gonna be a link that's gonna come up where you can, you know, join in a conversation, ask a question, whatever the case may be. You know, we're we're trying something new, uh, a little bit more engagement. I hope you I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks for following Black Art in America. Thanks for liking the, the content that we post. If you're sharing it, that's what's up. Um, trying to think, I had a, a couple pieces I could see. So the pieces behind me here, we've got, this is Elizabeth Catlett, uh, the Madonna, one of her you know, uh, iconic images. Over that shoulder right there is actually a work of mine. Again, artist, collector, CEO, producer, we're, we're of a number of different hats with the company. That's a piece I did. And on the other end, that's a piece by Richard Yard, which is going to be a great piece that we're going to showcase at the upcoming show in Philadelphia. And we hope that you join us. But, you know, we love art. We love culture. Uh, we love meeting people who who love art and culture, who love to get out to the museums, love to go and uh, visit the artist studios. And, you know, there's a lot of a lot of talented artists out here. Um, let's see. Not really. So Christian Carey and Desiree were giving you love and Dan as well. Okay, Christian Carey, Desiree, and Dan, thanks for showing, thanks for the love. You know, do y'all if y'all got any questions, uh can where they, they can they yeah, and where are you from? Can they pose any can they do comments? They can't do comments right now, mm -hmm. can they? Yeah, so send me a comment. Let's talk. Let's chop it up. I'm here to answer any questions. And no question is too uh um all questions are <laughs> Uh, will be filled. I do the best that I can. One thing about me is uh, I was thinking about getting this shirt made up. It said, ask me. I have no shortage of opinion. So feel free to ask me anything that you want to ask. Um, 
but again, if you're a C, if you're if you're joining us for the first time, I want to say thanks for for, for following Black Art America. We started this eight years ago, um, and you know what's funny? Let me tell you. Let me tell you how Black Art America started. Right. So, you know, I had been doing shows around the country for five years, and one of the areas that I would always spend a lot of time in doing shows was at uh, in Chicago and befriended a, a arts community there, collected this group by the name of Dias for Rhythms. And we're sitting uh, at the table, you know, breaking bread with the Scots and a number of the other collectors and artists that were uh, there that weekend. And we got to talk about a lot of the issues that we, that, you know, that we always talk about, like a representation, you know, not being able to connect with people around the country. Um, you know, how can we further support artists? How can people learn more about collecting art? You know, black media, things of that nature. And I was like, you know, I had what I call that Obama moment. You know, Obama said, you be the change that you're looking for. And so that that's what sparked the interest and the intent behind starting this company, starting a platform where we can document, preserve and promote black visual culture. And for the first two, two and a half years, we were just pretty much online, you know, posting, con you know, posting on Facebook, sharing images, sharing stories and things of that nature. And then in 2012, was the first year that we actually started to produce live events. Our first live event uh, and experience was actually at the Autobahn Ballroom. I mean, you know, you think about, and that's where, you know, Brother Malcolm was assassinated. And so you just think about the, the history of being in a space like that. And we presented a production called Malcolm on Our, Malcolm on Our Mind that was, um, let's see, could you say a word about Basel generally uh, and this year? Okay. so. All right, so in 2012, we started this campaign called Do You Basel. It was an effort to get more African Americans to go down to Miami and participate during our Basel. Our Basel in America uh, is always the first weekend in December, and it's the largest art fair that takes place in the Americas. There's a, you know over half a billion dollars of art sold in a one week period. You've got it's an international uh, space. I mean, international uh, representation of galleries and artists from around the world definitely a high presence of, of some of the top tier galleries in the country. But the cool thing about it, it's a great, it's a great experience. You get 40, you get 40 to 60,000 people that go down to Miami during this one week period. You've got art everywhere. You get the convention hall, you've got satellite fairs, you know, red dot, um, uh, art Miami spectrum. I mean, you name them, um, they're all scope. They're all there from the beach. They're on the mainland. Uh, everywhere you go, there's just art everywhere. Artists are posted up trying to <laughs> selling out of trucks. So you just work in a design district. But anyway, and so in 2012, we did this campaign and um, um, it was extremely successful. It was an effort to have a presence and to kind of, you know, figure out how we can get in where we fit in and also promote other artists and industry professionals to go down and participate. And ever since then, you know, not to say that we were the only ones pushing for African Americans to go down to Miami to our Basel, but I know we definitely had an impact. We actually got a phone call from, I mean, an email from our Basel congratulating us on, you know, expanding the conversation and get more, pe more people of color to know about it and to come down and participate. And so like now it's like going to a family reunion. Um, I've gone every year from the last seven years, except for one, uh, we'll definitely be there, you know, if 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 doing nothing else, covering it, you know, being at the parties, taking in the art, networking with other artists, other collectors, other people, art, art industry professionals. And so it's just a great time. I would recommend everybody to, to take in that experience um, and look for me when you get there. I said, I recently saw two amazing sculptures by Woodrow Nash. Have you seen his work? Uh, not only have we seen his work, we've got his work, Jack in the uh, Black Art in America headquarters. If you look right there, there's a Woodrow Nash that we have available. And what I may have to do is get your contact and I can send you more information on how you can get one of the many Woodrows that we have access to. Uh, Woodrow is a phenomenal talent. There's nobody doing it like Woodrow. I mean, I'm glad to see that you came across this work and you love it, but you wanna talk about a cult following. I mean there's i can't tell you how many shows we go to and you know woodrow just wrapping up pieces i mean he's selling out uh phenomenal artists my wife and i my wife satiri and i avid collectors we probably got about seven or eight woodrows in our collection 
like from life size down to, to small works. Uh, so yeah, love Woodrow. Love Woodrow's work. Do you have any, Jack? Yeah, I see. Okay, yeah. So I'll tell you what. So you, since you want to see more art, I've got. Um, let me grab a couple pieces of, of works that we recently acquired. Give me one second. get that piece from art from okay so while we were in houston texas i didn't see the last question i had kind of stepped away but anyway this is a piece that we recently acquired this is a um an, a painting an acrylic painting by ted ellis who's a phenomenal abstract impressionist paint i mean not abstract but a uh impressionist painter who's based in houston texas and you know this is our first ted ellis that we was able to add to our collection Let's see if you can see that he does a, a lot of scenes on the South, you know, Southern culture, uh, born and raised in New Orleans, now residing in Texas. Uh, he's typically at a lot of the shows that, that we do. So I'm an appraiser and I appraise the two. Cool. It's always good to know some appraisers. Uh, we get a lot of people who ask, you know, how they can get work appraised. And, and so you definitely have to, you know, come out to the show if you're closer to Philadelphia. Philadelphia area, you should come to the uh, show that we're hosting at the Belmont Mansion, September 14th through the 16th. Love to meet you. And um, um, maybe we could talk. I can get your information. And at the time, you know, if it presents itself, I can introduce you to some people who are looking to get some appraisals. Another piece that we recently acquired is this work right here by Gerald Lavelle. I mean, I'm so excited about this young talent. I mean, he's 25 years old, based in Atlanta. And this is a piece that we recently acquired for our own personal collection. So, you know, it's nothing like having skin, having skin in the game. You know, my wife and I, we've got, I don't know, maybe 300 objects, works that we've collected over the years, everything, sculptures, painting, works on paper. I mean, we're just, you know, addicted to art, addicted to surrounding ourselves with art. Again, this is the Black Art in America headquarters. So some of the pieces in here are for sale. Some of them are just, you know, pieces that we bought for the collection. Oh, now check this out. I've got some great news to share, right? Speaking of collecting art. For the first time, we've, we, we're we going to have the opportunity to present the Black Art in America collection in 2019. So look for us to have a show at the Houston Museum of African American Culture, February the 2nd through August the 27th, I believe. And it will be showcasing a number of the contemporary artists. And I'm still trying to figure out the amount of legacy material that we may want to put in the show. But we really want to show some love to, to artists that are currently living and working today. And, um, and I see we got Adrian. What's up, Adrian Watson? See, love what you're doing. The artwork is amazing. We have so much to see that represents us. No doubt about it. It's nothing, it's nothing like having beautiful art in your home, in your space. Um, you know, we go home every day and, you know, surrounded by these images of culture, the things that really speak to us, you know, who we are, where we come from, the things that we value. I mean, that's what it's all about. You could spend, you know, you, as a, you know, someone who's, you know, taking care of house, taking care of home, taking care of car and all these other, uh, needs. It's like, how do we surround ourselves with things that, you know, that enrich our lives and art is one of those is one of those areas. I mean, I can't tell you the difference in coming to, you know, a home or a space or even, you know, going to, you know, it could be a doctor's office or something like that. The joy I get with running into these spaces that have art um, in them is just, you know, it changes your whole perspective on things. I mean, there's an energy, there's a story, there's a history. Uh, it's a legacy um, that that we're able to tap into with, you know, with, with these cultural relics or cultural, um, you know, these things of culture that the artists have created. Uh, I know we love it. So if, you, if you're just tuning in, you know, let me know where you come from. Uh, glad you, you know, that you're following Black Art in America. This is our first time doing the Facebook Live. We're going to look to do it more. Uh, love for you to join in the conversation. Uh, we'd love for you to share the content on what we're doing. So if you see you know, the various posts that we post throughout the day, whether it's artwork, whether it's news, 
please share that on your on your timeline and encourage your friends to to like the page and to share the content as well and if you're not you know maybe maybe you're only following us on facebook but we're also on instagram we're also on twitter and i would definitely encourage you to visit the website you got to visit blackheartinamerica.com and take a look at that content if you're a junkie for art and culture like i am like we are oh man you got to listen to the podcast read some of the stories i mean it's you know a wealth of information on that platform and i would encourage everybody to take advantage of it we've got you know, uh, not only a ton of individuals from around the country, around the world that's visiting the website and taking in that information, but we've even got, you know, high schools and universities that access that information to teach kids about, you know, art, you know, they're taking a lot of art out of schools you know, and, the, you know, the funding is going dried up. And so, you know, Black Art in America is one of those spaces where it may be the only, the only source, you know, that people have a chance to see art and imagery uh, reflected that looks like them, you know, or, or 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 things that they value and appreciate. I mean, it's 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 just great to hear some of the you know hear from some of the art educators that that talk about Black Art in America being a tremendous resource uh, for them. So, um, any 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 anybody new to join us? I see from the Golden State of California. You know, I was talking with someone yesterday about. They say, you know, when are you going to do a Black Art in America show in Cali? So we'll see, Shelby. We want to get out to California. We've got a lot of followers out in California. Um, are you an artist or art lover, collector? Following from Atlanta. Hey, Mary, what's up? Uh, looking at your icon. I bet you're an artist, aren't you? Let me know. Holla black. And let's see. Any new questions, Raven? No. No new questions. So we're going to... You know, I'm going to stay on this for probably about another two or three minutes. If you got any questions, we're going to wrap it up. We've actually got some more business to affairs to take care of today. But I'm looking forward to doing this more. And I want to thank you all for, for tuning in to Black Art in America. Be sure to follow us on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check us out on Pinterest. Check out the other pages that we run as well on Facebook. Everything Black, Garden Art for the Soul. Do your Basel, shop by online. If you want to support Black Art in America, consider becoming a patron. You can be a patron supporter of Black Art in America monthly for as little as $3. And guess what? You're going to get some really cool stuff if you support us on a monthly basis. Go to blackartinamerica.com and check it out. Look for it under the educational resources tab in the navigation bar. I'm becoming a patron supporter of Black Art in America. There's some really cool, cool things that, that, that can happen or that you know that you get access to not only the free stuff but at the uh, 50 a month level you also can have a say on some of the artists we feature uh if that's not cool enough you also get producer credit uh on the video content that we share say hey produced in part by patreon sponsors and your name is listed so you become part of the legacy that we're building so i would encourage you to uh check that out thanks for all your support Najee Dorsey from the Black Heart America headquarters. What's this? One last one. Melinda. Let's see. I love a lot of the art you share with us. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Following from Chicago. You from Chicago, Adrian? We was, man, we come to Chicago a couple of times a year. Usually we do the uh, African Festival of Arts in uh, Washington Park. Not Washington. In, uh, is it Washington? I know where it said it's in Hyde Park. Do you, uh, do you ever attend that show? It's always it's always a lot of fun, a lot of cool art, you know. Um, you know, you get everything from yeah, clothes, your ethnic wear, clothes, shea butter, fine art. You know, the food, the food area is always hot. I always get, we always get. Uh, there's a couple vendors we always visit. The guy that's got the fruit and um, um, and the and the the fish. Let's see, Diane, following you from Osbury Park, New Jersey. See you in Philly. You know what, Diane? Let me tell you something. I'm glad you brought that up. Okay, for everybody, we got this big show in Philadelphia, September 14th through the 16th. It's a Black Art America Fine Arts show at the Belmont Mansion. We are looking for supporters. Like, if you want to, I mean, I don't know if you want to be a volunteer, you know, if you want to, you know, if, you, if there, there's some sponsorship opportunities, if you want to help offset some of the costs it's going to take to put together a fantastic production, shoot me an email at info at blackartinamerica.com and let me know if you want to support the show by either being a sponsor, by being a volunteer, 
you know, we're looking for ambassadors to get the word out. So go and find, uh, go to Black Art in America, look for the graphic for the Philadelphia show and share the post with all your friends and family. Open at night, we've got a great fundraiser for the For Color Girls Museum. Uh, we got a weekend full of, I mean, phenomenal programming. Y'all, y'all, y'all just gotta come hang out. It's I'm we're gonna call it a Black Art in America family reunion. I want to see you there. Come check us out, Philadelphia, September 14th through the 16th. Come be a part of what we're building and what we're growing. The legacy continues. Um, uh, thanks for following us. We'll catch up on another dime. Peace. <laughs>